Hey, what's good guys? Brandon. This is Taylor's Fine Smoke Cooking. Today I have a collab going on with my guy Ray Mac for Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill, and it's a rib collab. Now I'm not 100% sure what he has going on, with it, going on over there, but I know he's going to bring the heat, so make sure you stop by his house and see what he's got going. But today I'm going to do some cross-cut short ribs. We're going to put a little Asian flair on them. We're going to put them out here on this grill, get a little char going on, and I know it's going to taste real good. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, here are the short ribs. I want to show you those real quick. Beautiful uh, short ribs, cross-cut short ribs. These are my favorite way to eat them. But you can have them whole. If they left them whole, those are the big dino ribs that you see. But cross-cut short ribs. Some people call them California uh, ribs or Korean style, which is, this is basically a, a form of a Korean style. I'm going to say an Asian inspired. But we're going to whip up a quick marinade. And what I have here is fresh pineapple that has been uh, pureed. So this is going to help, one, add sweetness to our marinade, but two, it's going to be uh, help as a tenderizer for the meat. We're going to add a couple cups of cola. Now this is going to seem like a lot of marinade, but I want to have some extra. That way we can baste our meat with it when we're cooking it, one, and two, I may use some for a different, uh, a different dish. But we're going to go with two cups of cola as well. And again, this is going to add sweetness and two, act as a... Uh, a tenderizer as well. You can use any kind of cola really. It doesn't have to be, you know, the name brand stuff is just going into the, uh, as a marinade, so it really doesn't matter. We're gonna add a couple shots of uh, white wine vinegar. If you had um, rice wine vinegar, it would work better, but I don't have any, so this will do the trick. Now, we're gonna go with the whole bottle of soy sauce. This is where your salt's gonna come from, as well as add color uh, to your meat. That bottle's about two cups of uh, soy sauce right there. And then we're gonna add a couple dashes of sesame seed oil, or ses yeah, sesame seed oil, sorry. Now this stuff goes a long way, so you don't have to be heavy handed with it. We've got two uh, tablespoons of minced garlic, A little bit of MSG. Now this is optional, but it's a acts as a, a enhancer. This is about a teaspoon and a half of red chili flakes. That's where that heat's going to come from. So this this is kind of a sweet and sour uh, and spicy dish. And then another uh, teaspoon of black pepper. Now we may adjust that because I do like a little kick to it. And let's give it a good mix. Now you can taste this marinade as well. It's nothing wrong with tasting it to make sure it's uh, what you want it to taste like. Like I said, this is going to be sweet and salty with a kick. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, I want to make sure and see what the sweet sweetness level was. It's still on the saltier side, so I wanted the, the balance. I'm going to add in some brown sugar as well. This is about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Now that should do it. Like I said, I shouldn't have to use all this. I want to save some for when we uh, begin to cook the short ribs. It's not going to take a terribly long time to cook those because they are cut so thin. Now that's good right there, spot on. All right. So what I wanna do, I wanna bring my short ribs back over. I'm gonna add some red onion. Now this is basically just for flavor. To get the enhance it or infuse it with a little bit of this onion flavor. I'm using red onions. Red onions are potent. And I'm looking to get that flavor in here in this dish as well. Now we just take some of this marinade and just pour it over the top. And that's it. Now we're going to make sure that we rotate this meat too. This is going to be a 24 hour marinade. So we're going to come in and we're going to rotate the meat. 
uh, every so often just to make sure that all the meat gets uh, equally incorporated in that marinade. But that's it guys, that's the marinade. Those are the short ribs. The next time uh, we pick back up, we're gonna be ready to put these on the grill. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, it's 24 hours later. This has been a 24 hour marinade for these short ribs. See how those are looking. You can see how that marinade has saturated that meat. That's exactly what we were going for. So I'm excited about that. And we're gonna be putting those on the grill in just a few minutes. But I also wanted to show you what we're gonna be putting with that uh, with those short ribs. What I went, I got some coleslaw mix. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna wilt this down and make a quick little uh, cabbage topping. We've got some mixed peppers, some uh, the whites at the bottoms of some green onions. This is gonna be a super quick saute on this. All we're trying to do is wilt it down so it can still have a little bite and texture to it. We're not trying to make Sunday after church cabbage with cornbread. We're making more of an Asian uh, style cabbage where it's, it still has some chew to it. So just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna show you when we go ahead and saute it up. It's gonna be super simple, super delicious, super easy in a contrast to the meat that we're cooking. So uh, I'm getting that grill heated up and I'll see you outside. All right, guys. It's time to get these short ribs on. I've got my kettle screaming hot. So it's not going to take long at all for these short ribs to cook. These are thin sliced. Plus we had them marinating in that, uh, with that cola and that uh, pineapple puree. So that also helps break down this meat. Plus these are prime short ribs. So they had tons and tons of uh, marbling going on in them. So it's not going to take long at all. Ooh wee, they smelling good, good, good. My, my, my. We don't mind that fire kissing these things at all. Get a little char on them. it y'all lid on it and let them go a few minutes i'll bring you back in when it's time to flip all right we're about three minutes in it's flipping time already you can see they're all falling apart that's how tender they are so good y'all that's it keep on rocking all right guys now these things are done so you're looking at three four minutes on each side all i want to do now i just want to take these and i want to move them over to a little bit cooler side and i just want to put some of that marinade that we uh reserved from last time or uh, from the uh when we started and I just want to baste them with some of that marinade. We're just going to move them over. Move them over. Move them over. Now this one here was a little bit thicker one. I'm going to leave this one on a little while longer. And we're just going to take some of that marinade. We had it on the stove for a little while, reduce it. We're just going to hit it with a little bit more of that. We're gonna let it uh, sit for a few minutes with the marinade uh, on it. Then we're gonna pull them off. And that's gonna be it, y'all. All right. Give me another minute or so for that marinade to set up. Then we're gonna go in the house and let those rest and we're gonna start on that uh, cabbage. Here are those short ribs. They look fantastic. They smell even better. Man. All right, let's get into this cabbage real quick. Let's get into this cabbage. Now we're not using any meat or anything, but to take this to the next level, what I am gonna use, we're gonna saute it in some tallow, which is rendered beef fat. I do a lot of brisket, so what it did is took some of that beef fat, rendered it down, and you wind up with uh, beef tallow. 
Now you can make a lot of things with this, but I figured it would be a real good uh, compliment to our cabbage since we're using beef short ribs. We'll add some beef tallow on there to saute it too. So we've got a hot wok. What we're gonna do is we're gonna saute off these peppers first and get these a little, uh, just a little soft. Just a little soft and soft. Add a little kosher salt. And we're not, we're not trying to, you know, soften these all the way. We still want some texture and everything to our food. But these peppers will add a nice balance uh, of flavor to our uh, to our overall dish. We're gonna run those for about a minute, then we're gonna uh, come with the cabbage. So, uh, hold tight. All right, we're back. Now it's time to go ahead and add in our green onion and our cabbage. We're gonna put the green onion in, and that's roughly a quarter cup or so. Then we're gonna put our cabbage in. Now you want your wok to be hot because, like I said, we're wilting this. We're not cooking it for a period of time. We want it to get done fairly quickly. Put it on in there, let it do its thing a few minutes, and we're just going to start uh, flipping until all of the cabbage gets coated and gets an opportunity to get some of that heat on it. Just going to add some kosher salt to it, some black pepper, season to taste, you guys, season to taste, but again, we're not trying to go you know, Sunday, Sunday dinner cabbage. We're kind of just, it's a compliment to the short ribs. And that was some cayenne pepper. Let it go. Once we render it down a little bit, we are gonna add a little bit of that marinade we had in yesterday just to keep the, the balance going, but just a little, very little. So we're going to let this ride for a little bit and we'll pick back up in a sec. All right. We've got it reduced down the way we pretty much want it. We've had this uh, marinade on the back burner. Just reducing down. We're just going to take just a little bit of that marinade, add it to this cabbage. Make sure we incorporate it well and we're going to turn it off when it's time to plate up. so good super simple dish but I'm telling you top-notch flavors that's it cabbage is done meat is done rice is done all that's left for us to do is plate up and eat so I'll see you back in right just it's time to plate up we got some sticky rice down in the bowl now what we're gonna do we're just gonna put in some of that cabbage peppers I'm just going to layer that down on one side like we have here now we're going to take our short ribs put these bad boys in there let's cut in between the bones Just lay your short rib all around the bowl. You know what? I'm pretty hungry, so we're gonna put another one on here. Super tender, y'all. little more in there. So we've been reducing down that uh, marinade, that reserve marinade that we had. So 
So now we're just gonna take a little bit more of that marinade, put it over the top. Garnish it with a little green onion. And that's our dish. Asian style beef short ribs, sticky rice, and cabbage. Let me take a few snapshots of this, then we're gonna go ahead and get into this taste test. See you back in a minute. Take a good look at that plate one more time. I can't wait to dig in. All right, go ahead and get some of this rice and cabbage first. Mm -mm. It's real good. Just like, like I said, if you go to a hibachi at the mall or somewhere and you get the rice with the veggies on top, that's exactly what you got. It's not super salty, but I wasn't going for that. It has a little kick from the red pepper. It's great. Let's try some of this short rib. Look how tender and moist that is. Mm, mm, mm. It just melts in your mouth. Like I said, with that marinade and then with it being cut thin, High heat grilling. Wow. This is fantastic. <laughs> you should definitely get this a try. It's not hard to do. You can do it on a gas grill, charcoal grill. I just wanted to have that charcoal flavor. You can even put it in the oven. But it's fantastic. I highly recommend you try this recipe. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Ray Mac. Uh, for doing this collab. I really appreciate you. I want you guys to make sure you guys go over there and check out his channel and see what uh, he laid down today. I know it's going to be amazing. I will put a link in the description for his channel. And uh, like I said, y'all give this a shot because uh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.